Hi Libra. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Libra. The message could be for you. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general <laughs> and timeless readings. Uh, okay, we have the self that's on the outside. Yeah, keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. All my information is down below in the description box. Website link, Instagram handle, all of that good stuff. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways that you've just been here and supported the channel. Let's dive in. Um, okay, so this is interesting. We have the shaman, but it's upside down. That could be like, that's coming out as your energy though, Libra. You could want, I don't know what, you either have someone, um, the, oh, shiz, wow. Dude. Okay. You could have seen a particular person, they were either connected to a shapeshifter, because we have the shapeshifter right there, and the womb. This could be about things like that. There could be a person here behind the surface or behind the scenes. All of this is going on. It's like very indirect, but you're aware of it. You also could have seen a person look like they shapeshift. It was like a, some kind of emotional thing. This person could spend a lot of time in the ocean. There's the destroyer. And then we have the orphan. I feel like there's a person here that could have kept, tried to maybe that's something on the outside like there's just like a whole lot right there okay okay and then we've got the self that could be a person that is connected to themselves and then we've got the shaman oh wow this is really interesting i think i'm gonna talk about this with you some of you guys could be a shaman in the making Okay, or, and then we've got the vessel. You could be doing a lot of things to focus on your health and we have the seed. There's something there about you're either starting something new or the seed energy. Look at, you have the empty room, the seed, the vessel, and the shaman. There could be something here about a living environment or something that you're about to start up. And you know how they say, um, what's that biblical saying about a seed? How it has all the information, like a mustard seed? What is that? Um, there's something significant about seeds. Okay? Hybridization. And you know how many things are seedless these days? That's not good. Okay, I don't care what person says that's okay it's not actually that it means it's been genetically modified and it's something connected to healing shamanism is like it's a healer a lot of the times it's with different modalities herbs things like that so there could be something going on like that oh okay so some of you guys might be trying to focus on your healing at this time. You might be doing something in an empty room. Let's see. Oh, Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay. Some of you guys might be I don't know, like in a room by yourself or that's just where you feel better. Okay, or you have some peace of mind and that could be an idea that is planting. Let's see. Okay, wow. We have the world card. That is amazing. We have the Empress, that's you, technically. Oh, and there is the Devil released. This is incredible. 
because over this next week, you guys are ending something pretty significant with the world card. And it looks like it's been a cycle. I mean, first of all, that's Saturn. Saturn retrograde could have come in and taught you all these lessons about self-care, self-discipline, or it could have felt like um, there was something playing out. It could have been causing extremes in some particular way. Like maybe you felt like a connection to a particular person that was kind of Saturn oriented. And there could have been things about obsession here or um, there could have been a, an addiction cycle that was playing out. It could have been an emotional thing. Oh, it's a wide range of things. But it looks like that is softening, dare I say. Either a person hasn't completely walked away from you yet or you haven't completely emotionally detached. I wonder if that's some of the lessons that came up during the Saturn retrograde is certain ways that you might not think are very significant, how you're still emotionally tied to some kind of dynamic. It could have felt like an emotional roller coaster and you're still kind of addicted to the highs or the lows of the person or the situation. If that could have been a part of what was playing out. But look at this is even really good. Three of Swords reverse. You could some of you guys could be healing from heartbreak or um maybe there's a a release that's happening. You're starting to feel at least better than before because there's definitely something here about feeling the extremes of it at one point or a time in your life and it looks like the three of swords is like it's it's um softening a bit if you are able to take a look at the level of pain like you know at a doctor's office they're like one to ten has the level of pain maybe you're at like a five rather than a ten you know what I mean like there's something about it's decreasing a little bit the energy maybe it's already started to mend or you are possibly also coming up with solutions but the shaman upside down maybe it's like There could be a a person that hmm, not a healer or I don't know like maybe you guys are let me keep going with it we have the three of pentacles because you could be receiving report or support at this time and that also could be the thing that's healing you is just feeling like you have you could have even hired someone, but it doesn't really matter. However, it's playing out. We have the magician upside down, so there it is. There, okay. And then we have the lovers. And what else? Well, I kind of want to grab those. Okay, this is good. Even this feels pretty good. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So there's progress here. I feel like you are getting better. There's some kind of thing that you're developing, but it almost seems quickly. I, like you're almost even jumping three to an eight where your skill level is coming across as like you pick up on things fast or you're just a natural at something. It's one of those type of energies that you're, you'll you see that you increase very quickly. Maybe depending on who you connect with, with the Three of Pentacles. Like, it's almost like, you know how, you know how in school when you had a teacher who should have been retired like 10 years earlier <laughs> versus like a person who came in and made it really fun and exciting. There's something about that. Like the significance about who you connect with or who is your support system at this time and how quickly you would advance. Okay, and that something would get better or you'll start to see advancement and that you are detaching more and more from some other energy because this magician card still could be 
um, a person that you realize emotionally, like they just keep coming towards you. You could be done. Like the world card is saying that you're finished with the cycle. So for those of you, since we have the magician and the devil card, I am going to say that there's a person here that maybe you got caught in the cycle of seeing this person's pain or what they were dealing with. It looks very heavy with the devil and the magician card. This person could have some really deep stuff and for a while probably the reason why you are at some kind of conclusion is because for a while maybe you were so Libra-ish you were wanting to heal this person because like emotionally whatever they were going through you wanted to be there for them you wanted to but this could have been maybe that's why the shaman is reversed because it's like there's a person here that needed to want it for themselves or to be self-motivated because if this person is still struggling with their own codependencies and they're not really taking care of the the issue that causes something like their manipulative behavior there could have been something there about like um you're choosing yourself with the empress upright you're choosing your self-care so it's and it's like really fascinating because naturally cycles just wrap up every time you do something for yourself because it elevates you energetically it puts you in the upright so that's what you could be realizing or waking up to with that eye in the world card is that your a lot of your focus and intention is on this like um inner child or like a literal baby it's something like really powerful like that that you've put at the forefront you know like that's where a lot of your energy and attention is going and every time you do these self-care actions it's it you'll see an actual manifestation or something really positive that puts you in the upright like maybe there's something you, you even just see that there's a difference because we're all one. And you can see how people will reflect your energetic state. And that could be a little bit motivating. Or you, you just get a confirmation in some way that, yes, Libra, this is what you need to do. That's exactly what you should do every day with your self-care and be consistent at it. And that looks like it's going to be the thing that you figure out or you come to realize and so you it's naturally because of the frequency of that it's in a place of self-love that could be something that it's just naturally detaching you from another person's energy and you'll realize you didn't even have to take a lot of effort or you know do a whole lot of crazy things Okay, so we have the Void and Constellation. I feel like that's this person's energy. Like, I I feel as though that there's a person right now. Yeah, she is. We have the Dark Nebula. I, I just feel like part of the reason why this person is doing a whole lot or... Um, Constellation is really fascinating because this could be some kind of significant alignment that's happening that this person might see you actually aligning with your higher self or this person could have already known of it, you know, known of it being available to you. But this person fills a void right now and right now they're trying to fill it because you coming out of this person's energy like they do they fill this void it like really is sad because maybe this person is still coming into touch with themselves or learning how to do that you could also feel like there's a person that you do see them you've seen 
there's just this part of them like that's Jekyll Hyde this person is a magnificent human and also has this darkness that they carry within them and it's like you have love for both love for them love for yourself but you might be choosing yourself only because your self-care naturally makes that happen but I do feel as though there's a person here that is starting to experience this void from you not being where they usually found you or having access to your energy and that's why they don't know what to fill that void with and in that void if it's like alone time there's like this darkness that starts to seep in it's something that they've been avoiding isn't that interesting and so maybe this person is actually going the universe is going to give them the opportunity to sit with that whether they do it or not is a whole different situation because some of you guys you might be doing taking action over here to work on tangible things or things that don't look as exciting um but, and this person might be coming into relationships with others or trying to fill a void very quickly so they might even appear to have a relationship okay and maybe that's something to prepare yourself about but i feel like you'll be okay even if you feel like this person aligning themselves with something or someone specific was tent um the intention was to try to motivate your behavior to come towards them because they need to fill this void but i feel like you're not hurt by it that three of swords reverse is like maybe you're making progress from that if you felt like this person was intentionally trying to align themselves but also like some of you guys this person could have tried to keep you from aligning with someone else they wanted to keep you isolated because the orphan card was way down there in that pile there's a person here that wanted to keep you ostracized or keep you out and to see you in union with a person to try to activate this wound which but i don't i you're either making progress and coming out of that energy and it also could be that it's not going to affect you anymore because you might already be aware that this person that's like that's how they're wanting to express their own pain you know they they might feel in pain right now just by the fact that you're closing the cycle and maybe they will react in all these different ways to try to motivate your behavior again to come towards them anyway let me dive into the extended libra this person is your weakness i'm just gonna say that straight up okay but yeah let me dive into the extended click on the vimeo link you can uh click on that in the description box down below and i'll see you over there but libra if this is where we leave things Sending you so much love, wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care.